I don't know why we are even together anymore. We can't even agree on the little things. We've been having relationship problems lately. My partner refuses to wash off their armor before coming home. We finally have a nice place to stay. I want to keep it clean. A scorched beast could kill us at any moment, and you're worried about mud. Typical. The dust could be irradiated. It could be deathclaw crap. Or worse, it could be irradiated deathclaw crap. So this is a place that's bringing all these damn people to Appalachia. Well, I guess it would be nice to have a clean space to live. I'm so used to the grime at this point, I forgot it's kind of gross. I know it's a small thing, but this will really make me feel like you care about me and our space. Sounds good to me. Let's work on this. Thanks for the help. Here's a little something for the trouble. We can't just let anyone join. How do I know we can count on you? I've made it this far in this world, haven't I? Let me join you. Being a responder is about more than just surviving. You've got to be able to help others survive. Gotta give me a chance so I can show you that you can trust me. Hey, can you help me get this person to listen to reason? I really want to join the responders, but... It sounds like this recruiter needs some more Why convincing. Why helping people that can't help themselves? Maybe you can put in a good word for me. I'm just not convinced you're the right fit. What makes you want to join the responders? I need to feel like I'm part of something greater than myself. A family of people committed to making a difference seems like the right fit for me. Hmm. So what do you think? Should we recruit them or not? That's fine with me. Ask away. What do you want to know? I'm a people person. I love working with people and helping people. I'd be great at meeting with new refugees and making them feel welcome. I'd be dirty it up a little. I have a hard time saying no. I want to help so much that I sometimes take on too much work. I can't believe we A kind work. word and a friendly That's smile a can go a long way. I've ever seen one. Look at I need to feel like I'm part of something greater than myself. A family of people committed to making a difference seems like the right fit for me. That's great. I'm ready to start immediately. There's a lot of supplies here that look ripe for the picking. What makes you so sure they'll be a good fit? Well, okay. If you really think they've got what it takes. All right, we'll let you in on a trial basis and see how it goes from there. Here's a uniform. It's suited up and report to Sophie for your first assignment. You got it. Hey, thanks for putting in a good word for me. I'll see you out there. I think I made the right call here today. I appreciate your help. I ran my hand through clear water. It's been sunny. I'm really sorry to bother you, but do you know here. anything about fixing robots? You did? Oh, jeez, I was hoping it wasn't that noticeable. I really need your help. Don't join the oh, I screwed up real bad. I think I might have broke one of the robots here, and I don't know how to fix it. Oh, thank God, and thank you. I tried to load a holotape into one of the robots here. I know I shouldn't have, but I did. The tape got jammed and the robot shut down and I don't know how to fix it. I'm so worried I'm going to get in trouble. I have nowhere else to go if I get kicked out of the White Spring. For food earlier. Because I didn't school. ask permission to touch the robot and then I broke it. Really? You think they'd let me stay, even after that? I still want to fix this before anyone finds out. When the robot broke, I didn't know what to do, so I left it right where it was. It's in the main lobby. There's a lot of traffic through there, but I don't think anyone has noticed the broken robot yet. Wait, before you go, 
I've got one more favor to ask. When you're fixing the robot, if you're able to recover the tape for me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll wait here for you. Do you ever look up at the stars and wonder if anything else is out there? Oh, thank goodness you're back. Were you able to fix the robot? Oh my god. Thank you so, so much! I don't have a lot, so it's not much. But please take this as my way of saying thank you. Rusty loves Master. I heard a bunch of nerds... Hey, come here. Overcome. Don't mean to be nabby, but... You got the looks of someone who knows about? their way around robots, am I right? So this is a place that's bringing all these damn people to Appalachia. You ever had a favorite drink? Something you get a craving for that nothing else can satisfy? With all these supplies, we could really do some good trading with Back them. before I escaped the pit, there was only one thing I looked forward to after a long shift. Now I was drowning my pains away with a fuss fungal. When I escaped, I figured I'd have to leave it all behind an ass. So, imagine my joy finding that one of the fancy robot barkeeps here knew the recipe. Problem is, the barkeep snapped a dumb band or busted a doohickey and damn things out of service. Ostentatious. But it's nice to be somewhere not covered in dirt for once. I'm grateful. Really, I am. It's actually just over there. You can't miss it. If you get the old boy working again, let me know. These wouldn't last one day in Crater. Repairs will be completed shortly. Thank you for your patience. Bartending capabilities restored. Have a drink on the house. There you are. You get that robot barkeep up and running again? Cheers to that! Mm. You've been a real lifesaver. Why even bother helping people that can't help themselves? said, are you here for the party? We found a bunch of pre-war movie posters and saw the clowns always had knives. We thought it'd be fun to try and recreate some pre-war traditions for this party. Like, surprising the guests and clowns. We're throwing a surprise party for our friend. We've been preparing for a month now. We got hats, a clown, everything. Please don't mention the party to anyone. We want to keep it a surprise. Help us, it's help been us. sunny all week. I love it here. Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that! A stealth boy? Jeez, I... I don't even want to think about that. I'm really on edge lately. I hate surprises, and I suspect my friends are planning something for my birthday. Maybe you could help me. Do you think you could investigate and see if they're actually planning something? All I need is a photo of the evidence. 
From the joy of discovering new irradiated creatures to finding skeletons in fridges, I've had enough surprises for a lifetime. Out there, I don't have a choice. And here, if I can avoid being spooked, I'm going to avoid it. I just want some part of my life to feel in control. I heard rumors of a surprise party, so it's likely there are folks in the refuse dressed for it. Please bring me a photo of the party goers. So this oh, is and please don't talk to them. Appalachia. Just take the photo. I don't want them to know that I'm doing this. With all these supplies, we could really do some good trading with the White Spring. You're already here. False alarm. These refugees wouldn't last one day in Crater. You're back. Did you find any evidence of a surprise party? Just what I was afraid of. Well, I know what to expect now. Thanks for getting that photo. Time to muster up some courage and head over. Why even bother helping people who can't help themselves? Excuse me. I don't suppose you know where our magazine has disappeared to. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bite your head off. People keep wandering off with the clinic's magazines and leaving them all over the refuge. I'm very busy caring for the patients and filing medical records. And I just don't have the time to walk around the refuge picking up after people. You're direct. I like that. Okay, I want your help. I need someone to find my missing magazine and bring it back. A lot of times, these books find their way into the rec room. Take a look there and see if you can find it. I love Esme's cooking. Bless your heart. So now do excuse me. Actual. I must attend to the patients. I heard there's some monsters in the pit that'll give you a run for your caps. I asked Tannen for a drink on the rocks. What is it? Oh, you're the one who promised to find my missing magazine. Can't believe we've got a vertebrate. Aren't That's you something? The, world if I've ever seen the responders could use more go-getters like you among their ranks. I'll get this back on the rack. <laughs> Excuse me, would you mind getting a photo for me? I'm writing a letter to someone in the pit, and I wanted to attach a photo of myself. I got a deal with Lennox. She's gonna deliver it to someone in the pen next time she flies out. I'm trusting that whoever she gives it to will help it find its way to my loved one. So sure about that. My wife is still a captive in the pit. I wrote her a letter, and I wanted to attach a photo of myself so she knows I'm alive and well. I know there's a slim chance that she'll ever see it, but I can't stop thinking about her. I need her to know that. I have a bit of an odd request on top of that. People used to stage photos all the time before the war. C could we try to doing the same? I really appreciate it. To start, I think I should wear something special for the I photo, but I'm not sure what. I have this outfit I got from Tweed in the resort shops. I just need a second to put it on. Wow, I love it. I wish I had more chances to wear this. Oh, I always feel so awkward in photographs since I never know how to pose. Any ideas? Maybe okay, I'll... I can do that. Come no. to think of it, all of the Maybe portraits I see on the walls in here seem pretty serious. Outfit is settled, pose is settled. What else did I need? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure where we should take this. Any ideas for a background? Consider. Oh, I like that idea. It will be nice for them to see what the first steps into the refuge look like. 
Thank you for your input. I think this will turn out great. I'll meet you over there and let you know when I'm ready to take the photo. It's driving me insane. Check in with the medics if you're feeling under the weather. Wonder if they have any chems laying around here. We aim to provide a safe. I'm ready for that photo wherever you are. For all our guests. Well, it's funny. Do I think with cheese and fire keep my face neutral? You'd come up with something more medicinal. This is the perfect spot. I'm ready when you are. Wait, do I say cheese if I'm keeping my face neutral? Sorry, not much for conversation. Allison talked my ear off. I was up so there. So how'd it come out? Earlier, only got attacked by Scorch once. Ah, this turned out so nice. They're gonna love it. Here's a little something to say thanks. Good luck out there. There's someone smarter than you around here who can settle this. Fine with me. You asked who would win, but clearly you don't like the truth when you hear it. You look like a person of culture. Surely you've read the incredible tales found in the pages of Hubris Comics? <gasps> what fortune. You're exactly the hero we've been looking for! We've been endlessly debating over who would win in a fight, and now finally, we have someone who can break the tie. Excellent! Now, carefully consider this scenario before answering. Who would win in a no-holds-barred, no-spells-forbidden, all-out battle between the Mistress of Mysteries and the Inspector? The Mistress is a master of misdirection and mysticism. With surprise on her side, I am certain she would have the upper hand and would triumph! Whoa, 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 do you truly believe that the inspector, the magic detective, wouldn't easily see through any ruse the mistress attempted? Uh, the inspector wins. Hmm, perhaps, but I really don't think you're giving the inspector enough credit. Even robbed of her mystery, the mistress is a formidable fighter who has defeated many a sorcerer before. She easily wins Always this match. Always make sure match. to boil your water before Fine. you... Fine. I think you'd make a huge a mistake, but a deal's a deal. Maybe next time you'll see the truth. Thank you, friend, for your impeccable knowledge. You are truly a hubris comic scholar. This wanton robot tried to give me a haircut before running off. It's a shame. I can't get at the back by myself. You look like you know your way around junk. A trash expert, if you will. Why even bother helping people that can't help themselves? My colleague here wants to throw the trash away outside. Or will sit around for a million years, ruining what's left of the environment. And he wants to burn the garbage in the hotel's generator. The Mr. Janitors clean up after the hotel guests, but since the responders moved in, we're officially All supposed to do our share of the chores. Plus, I don't know if you've taken a peek in the dumpsters, but I'm not sure the robots really get garbage. But it's nice Are you serious? One person's trash is another person's generator fuel. Won't we be breathing in toxic fumes? What are we supposed to do about the smoke? Look at the ailments on these refugees. I suppose we can just step outside if we need to get some air. Fresh, clean air. Thanks to us. There's a lot of okay, fine. But if anyone asks, I'm saying this was all your idea. Anyway, break's over. <clears throat> We've got to get back to it, but thanks for the help. Wow, they've... Oh, hi. You haven't seen, uh, uh, Mr. Handy causing havoc around here, have you? I wonder if they have any chems I was here. working on my side project 
reprogramming a Mr. Handy to do makeovers. Nice to see people and around and it went know. a little awry. Mr. Makeover is running around the refuge, and I'm too afraid to find out if he's caused any damage. Call a rad stag on a stage. A deer in stage lights. <laughs> that one you do that? Gets me. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's a uh, Mr. Handy, so Why just look for a malfunctioning bot themselves. with lots of arms. Mr. Makeover took off around the corner. I am too scared to look and see how badly he's malfunctioning. A nice refuge like this is worth more. Please than find him and send him back here. Why? I feel so renewed. Perhaps I finally understand why humans obsess over their appearance. Picking. Oh, hey, it's you. Did you find Mr. Makeover? Oh, phew. What a silly little bot. I was so worried he was out there trying to make over a vertebrate or something. I wonder if they have Thank you so right. much. It's not much, but you can have this it's as nice a small to token of my gratitude. Got a lot on my mind. Once hey, sober on the job. you know your way around the insides of a Protectron? Hey, look at you getting ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. The robot went all haywire on us, started spouting off gibberish and acting real weird-like. Huh. Last time a bot went nuts, it nearly pulled a guy's arm off. So we ain't taking any chances. We shut it down until we can get it fixed. Sure thing. What'd you want to know about? As I'm sure you've noticed, we're busy renovating the White Spring, doing all kinds of construction around here. So this bot gets told to screw together some boards using 3 a fasteners, right? But it starts beeping and booping about 9 millimeter for some reason. We're talking construction, right? So why all of a sudden does this bot bring up ammo for? The foreman tells the bot it better smarten up and start pulling its weight around here. Then the bot starts repeating, kill, kill, kill or something or other. Well, we all got real worried then. Butlers? Yeah, Is this that was it. Or a palace? Huh. Lenny said that's socialist talk, and the bot might be a secret commie spy or something. If you say so. Me? I'm just trying to do my job. Thing was making everyone uncomfortable, so we stashed it away. We got it over by the rec room. Up, you know the place with the board games? I'm here. I've never felt safer. You're a real life saver, pal. I better get back to work. Always make sure to be caught out and about with no place to go. The responders have an outpost in Flatwoods. Twelve inches per foot. Three feet in every Helping people is our chief. God bless America. The cool uniforms are... Just oh, you're back. You fix up that robot yet? You're the real deal. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is a huge relief because we're way behind on this job and really need that robot helping out. Have you ever seen a pre-war high school? Wow, really? I bet you were a jock. It must have been so fun to date a cheerleader and throw footballs. I happen to have the best pre-war high school collection in the refuge. Until I lost one of my artifacts. Say, could you help me find it? Wait, you, you'll help me? Right on. I knew you were cool. I lost a snare drum. Back in the day, schools had bands that played war cries right before sporting events on those. Oh, it must have been such a rush. Anyway, last time I had it, I was working on some repairs in the construction area on this floor. Maybe check around here? An 
always call us. It's you! You're back! Did you find it? You actually found it! Thank you! If we were in high school, you'd get an A in Did finding things. Robot Here's a little something to say thanks. Off. That's a shame. I can't get at the back by myself.